the network. The last time we were talking, we were talking about the prospect of a TikTok ban. And um, a lot's happened since then, but not a lot at the same time because we're still not much clearer on the final outcome. It looked like it was going to be resolved earlier this month when Oracle stepped in to, you know, to, to buy TikTok. Obviously, there was Microsoft on the table before and they rejected that. But uh, I don't know what you've been following about it, but obviously it's all set in agreement like Walmart, Walmart and Oracle you know, we're going to buy 20% stake in TikTok. Um, so that was all, that had all gone through. So right. Oracle would have a 12.5% stake and Walmart 7.5% stake in TikTok Global. But when, so this was all agreed and obviously and Trump like, sanctioned it. So it was all set to go through. But then Oracle then came out and said that when TikTok Global has been created, we're going to own most of it. It's going to be American owned and ByteDance will no longer own, won't own TikTok global. But then ByteDance came back and said that we're not going to be losing control of TikTok or, and, and TikTok global is hundred percent owned by us. And it's a subsidiary of ByteDance. So there's a mm. clear conflict here in terms of like, you know, people are on the same page. Right. Right. So that's still very much a mess. And then it was supposed to be banned on the app stores in the U S last weekend. Um, and that's what Trump wanted to do. But then TikTok filed for an injunction, which was granted to stop it being banned because they were going to take it off the app store so you couldn't download it anymore if you're a new user and there'd be no further updates to the application. But if you still had the app downloaded, you could use it. But that never happened. So it's still on the app store and still all working fine. But there's a lot to sort out clearly between ByteDance and Oracle. Um, Because originally we thought it was going to be a proper buyout, but really all this is really is Oracle investing in the in the company. So it's not really what what Trump administration had in mind. So it's all just a massive mess again, it seems. And clearly these agreements have been done, but they don't know who owns what. And ByteDance still clearly want to have full control, and that will never be allowed by Trump. So it's all pointing back towards it being banned again after all this. That's what I was understanding. Like thinking when I first heard about the Oracle deal, I was like, "This isn't, this isn't what Trump asked <laughs> for." No, no, you know, this is in no way, you know, um, blocking them from any of their other presence. It really just added another American stakeholder, and hope to leverage the fact that there's somebody who else else who will benefit from it in terms of an American corporation to, I guess, increase their lobbying ability, but. I don't know, man. I mean, because there's also that aspect of China changing their laws to to prevent or enable them to be able to withhold the algorithm, whether TikTok tries to or not, or ByteDance tries to or not. Hey, yeah, you can take the TikTok name, but we can keep the algorithm itself from being sold. So now you have the brand and maybe the users of the platform, but you no longer have the algorithm, which is the sauce. That's the primary IP which really yeah, makes yeah. a company like this work fine. So I don't know, man. I mean, I, I'm i at a loss in terms of predictions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like uh, ultimately, like the one thing that I said at the beginning is going to be true, right? Something major is going to happen. I feel like I'm, there's already been multiple major things that have happened, but at where it ends at the end of the road and how long this is going to be going, I don't know. We'll see. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I thought it was all resolved when when they announced Oracle coming in. I was like, oh, great. So it's going to be, you know, it's going to be fine. And then I saw, well, actually, it's only an investment. But yeah. I must be, that must have been sanctioned. So I, was like, oh, I must have been fine. I must have agreed to that. But now going back through again, the latest news, it's clearly yeah. not been discussed. And I don't, so I can, I can see why the Trump administration are still trying to get it banned because it's not what they agreed to or, and it's, and this TikTok global idea is nice in principle, but not if not everyone's not on the same page. So, so this could run and run and run because if they're refusing, if their firm stance by dancers are not giving it up, then they're just trying to take the money and run from Oracle, it seems. True, because if this issue started because of access, privacy, and ownership, it can only be resolved through access, privacy, and ownership right yeah. um one of those that creates the other like and the privacy there's never going to be the trust 
hey, yeah, you have the method to do to create privacy measures, but to trust you to, ju to report everything to us, that's never going to happen. So it has to be resolved through through the pro uh, the ownership and as the ac access um, part of it. And man, I think that it was so. It's interesting that so many people have used this moment, right? If you look at Triller using it to in input themselves in a conversation and got PR moments out of it, and and they've really been trying to run up with, with it. They, they've been the best out of any of the. Uh, secondary companies in that market space in terms of leveraging yeah. the moment for PR. And, but I haven't seen anything personally that's significant from even that end of things. So, I mean, TikTok is still king as, as it speak, as we speak, but yeah, man, I, I don't know, man. It's, it's so, it's, it's so interesting be, because of the timing of it as well where you have a situation where the Googles, the YouTubes, the Apples, which probably wouldn't do it, it's just so outside of their business um, anyway, but um, the Amazons, people who have that money and even the brand and social capital that we would expect to see involved in something like this, they got, they're being caught in this time when they're all being um, convicted. Well, not convicted, that's, that's too official. Um, when they're all being, what's the word? They're just being ana uh, analyzed, right? Within public for this whole monopoly aspect of, of, of their business, right? I don't know if you saw the hearing where all the CEOs were on Capitol Hill through a Zoom yeah. call, right? But <laughs> like that, even stuff like that, like as a moment, it prevents a company like that from being able to come in and really making a strong arm argument. It's kind of like, yeah, we, we need to just maintain, you know, nobody wants to see us involved in this right now, especially the conversation that's already around TikTok. It's like, yeah, yeah, we, we couldn't really touch this. So you yeah, leave yeah. this opportunity for these other companies that in any, no normal circumstance would necessarily have that like Walmart, you know what I mean? Like things that don't even make sense. Um, and even Oracle, a tech company, it's so legacy that people don't think of it in yeah, that way. Yeah. Um, so it creates these opportunities, but it also from an overall American aspect of things, it, it lessens the, ch the opportunity for that buyout to happen. If it ever was going to be a thing that, that happens. So yeah, man, I just been watching. This is just another, another part of the good year of 2020. I know. I mean, if you ask me right now what's going to happen, then I would say that it's going to end up with it being banned because it's clearly not going to be fully owned by the US. They're not going to give it up by dance because there's too much involvement. There's too much of their tech ingrained in the platform. Yeah. Uh, but obviously, the election is imminent. And if, you know, if power changes hands, this might be dropped in altogether anyway. So mm. <laughs> who knows? Like that. They, maybe they're trying to just, you know, ride the storm a bit. If they can put, the longer they can push this, the more it benefits by dance anyway. Um, yeah. So you know what? You say that. They talk about the abilities of, pro, uh, of TikTok and, and controlling the feed the way it does and really can make things pop up. One of the fears is propaganda. I don't know, man. I wonder if TikTok will try to, you know, sway people to vote against Trump. Well, have you seen that they've, they've launched a new election feature on TikTok on the Discover page? I actually haven't seen that feature yet, but I have. This morning, I saw a lot of Biden shit on my on my feed. <laughs> I, can, I can't <laughs> say that. <laughs> so. they're, they're, they're launching some um, like election like advice and guidelines and spotting like fake news and stuff. They're launching a whole campaign on the election on TikTok. So. Mm. it's uh <laughs> <laughs> you know they, they can do it as their platform it's, there's clearly some ulterior motives there but they are launching this new feature on on the platform to educate and inform that's the yeah. top line to educate and inform the the public um on going out to vote um so that that's already in the works so i imagine that will keep getting more and more developed as we get closer and closer to the time also i also saw earlier this month that tiktok also partnered with teespring to you know, launch some e-commerce on the platform. We've right. talked about loads before about this eventually happening, you know, how it's going to be integrated in the platform, but yep. actually making the 
proper steps now it's out of beta now it's actually ingrained in, into the platform so this is just a one of many partnerships i feel are coming through Thank you.